guys, it's Flory. Welcome back to my channel. Um, gonna do a, um, this is my first time ever doing a, like a tutorial type of video. So, bear with me. I hope it goes okay. Um, I went ahead, we're, this is a collab video with a, a few other women, um, who do awesome nails, you know. <laughs> and they, um, and we just gonna, we got together and decided to do a, a collab. Um, this was um, organized by uh, Miss Charlie Snails, and she has an awesome nail channel, and uh, just uh, doing a clap for the 4th of July. So, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and um, show you what I did for my design. I went ahead and um, started already with uh, the base colors on my nails. Um, the first, the for my pinky and my thumbnail, I went ahead and used the sinful colors uh or sinful shines and this is uh most sinful and i'm hoping everything's gonna be in camera view um uh, for the my ring finger my middle finger right here i use the uh, um snow me white sinful colors okay and then for the red i use sinful shine um devious um, also on my thumbnail, I went ahead and topped that also with um, Simple Colors um, Opal Glitter to give it a little bit of a starry kind of effect. Um, for base coat, uh, I guess I should have started off, I went ahead and I used um, the Ulta Base Coat. Um, and I think it's called um, Get a Grip. <laughs> and I do like this base coat. Um, I really do. It doesn't, it doesn't have any shine to it at all. It's... Um, it dries very very matte but I like it 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 works well and let's go and get started so if we we're going to start on the pinky nail so for the pinky nail I went ahead and I did a um, decal and I did a silver star over the blue base okay we're back okay so for the um, the pinky nail again we're gonna go ahead and try to make a stencil or decal I'm going to see if I make sure I'm in frame here. Um, this is from Bundle Monster, and it's a stamping guide or like a um, stencil. And we're just going to use this little star right here. And I went ahead and put a um, a thin layer of top coat on top of the my um, st my stamper from Bundle Monster, and we're going to go ahead and put this over that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this um, this glitter, the silver glitter from Sally Girls. And I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and point this over. I hope I'm in frame. Over this right in here and kind of give a little tiny bit of pressure, not much. And I'm going to go ahead and paint a thick coat over that stencil. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take the sponge and sponge up that excess um, base. And hopefully we'll get ourselves a nice little star. And I think this should work. <laughs> it worked once before, so we'll see how it goes. And let's go ahead and lift, carefully lift that. Okay, so we did pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and let that be. And um, I don't know if you can see that. So we did pretty good on that little decal. So we're going to go ahead and put that to the side and let that dry up and um, go ahead and move on to the next one. So let's put that to the side. Okay, so for the next nail we're going to work on is um, for my pointer finger. We're going to go ahead and use some vinyls. And these are vinyls that I also got from Bundle Monster. I'm getting a lot of my supplies from Bundle Monster. And I'm going to go ahead and take um, a double thing of this. Um, there's two wrapped in here. And I'm going to go ahead and place that right here on my nail. And try to center that right there. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and for, uh, go ahead and start tuning the ring finger. I went ahead and we're using the vinyl. I already showed you that part. Anyways, this is a plate from Bundle Monster, and it says BM411. I believe this is one of their create your own, um, create CYO something kits that they have. Um, 
Let's go ahead and use this red um, stamping polish from Bundle Monster. It's called Crimson Red. And it's a pretty decent bundle uh, stamping polish. Let's see if this is going to pick up. And it picked up pretty nicely for what we're going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and put... Um, this hopefully you can kind of see what I'm doing and we're just going to go ahead and place that stamp right there oops yeah it lifted a little bit so let's see what we can do about saving this little striper here right there let's bring that puppy back down and there we go not bad <laughs> not bad so that's all right so we'll leave that like that and then I'm gonna go ahead and go back in and grab my blue and um, we're gonna go ahead and paint blue right up here on this top part and let's see what we can get. Hopefully we can get ourselves a nice crisp line. And again, this is most simple from um, the simple straight line. Okay, and while it's still wet, we're going to go ahead and pull this back. And that's that. And I'm going to go ahead and clean this up, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. And we're going to go ahead and put um, um, three uh, silver stars on that white area. And I got my silver stars right here. And let's see if they can show up right here. Let's see what we can grab these out. Oh. One, two, three. Perfect. <laughs> okay. And you can get anything, these kind of things at, off Amazon or eBay or nail supply places. So, um, I'm just going to go ahead and use top coat and um, make a little bit of a glue for that or adhesive or something for that little stars to stick on right there. Uh-oh. Got a little red smear there. That's okay. Um, that's okay. We're going to leave that alone. And we're going to go ahead and grab these little star and put them right in there. Area right there. One thing you gotta do is make sure that the that your design is dry before you put any kind of top coat on there. And I apparently must have touched some of that red stripe before it was completely dry and it went into my so so this is this finger right here, and that's kind of how I came up with that design right there. And we're going to, like I said, we're going to let it sit there for a while before we try to top coat it to seal that all in. And we'll go ahead and um, move on to, I guess we can check on our decal. So let's go ahead and check on our decal here. And we went ahead and made this decal earlier and we let it dry completely. And we're going to go ahead and carefully take this off of the stamper. And um, hopefully we'll get ourselves a nice little decal, which we just did. And here's what it looks like. And here's our star. Um, I'm going to cut a lot of this excess off um, this decal um, that we made. And then we'll put it on our... Um, we'll put it on our pinky finger and we'll have ourselves a nice little star to decorate that finger. Okay, so again, let's go ahead and put a little bit of top coat on our 
finger to make sure that it's got your decal has something to stick to. Hopefully I'm in frame. Like I said, this is my first tutorial, so I hope it all works out good for you guys. <sighs> no stress. Okay, here we go. Okay. And this is where we're going to put our little star to center it on our pinky finger. And we have ourselves a nice little star to kind of help with that little decoration. And I like doing a little bit, when I do these kind of things, I like to make it, mix it up and have different, um, different um, designs for each finger. I don't know why, <laughs> but it just, it would be so much easier if I did the same thing for all fingers. And what I'm gonna do here now is go ahead and use a um, little brush here with some acetone, and that will just melt away all that extra, um, the extra top coat that was on that decal away from my finger that we don't want it, that we don't need on our nail and it will just it will just melt it away and then um so then it will lay flat and you don't have to worry about it any kind of um edges hanging off and that's how we got this one. We'll go ahead and do a little top coat on that, and that one will be all done. So there we go. Okay, moving on. On the next finger, we're going to go ahead and do a, um, a red, white, and blue design. I went ahead and I used, again, I'm going to use these vinyls right here. And these are just um, regular... Uh, bars I guess and what I'm going to do is grab again I'm going to grab two at a time um, hopefully I'll be able to do that without too much effort here sometimes you have to really oh no 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 I want two come here back let's do two at a time and the reason I want two at a time is because I want a thicker stripe and I don't have anything thicker, thicker than that so let's go ahead and put this diagonal across our finger right here so like so and again I have oil and and this is what we're gonna do and that does not want to stick Okay, I'm gonna have to, I'll be right back. Okay, I went ahead and um, prepped my finger with, um, from Bliss Kiss, Simply Peel. And we got ahead and got our vinyl across uh, my nail. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and sponge on some glitter and we're going to use from Simple Colors DV, or, or Decadent, I'm sorry, this is Decadent. And for the blue glitter, we're going to use, um, what's this called? Bang and Blue. <laughs> Bang and Blue. And in the middle, we're just going to use a silver, but we're going to do the um, other ones first. And I'll give this a little shake. And the, this decadent is pretty base heavy, so we definitely want to use a, the sponge technique with this one because it is so base heavy. And we'll go ahead and sponge this down here. Make sure I'm in camera. And we want to make sure to stay on the bottom part of this vinyl um, T 
tape because on the top we're going to put the blue. So I'll go ahead and finish this part up. Okay, I went ahead and flipped my sponge around, and now I'm going to use this, um, the blue glitter now. And hopefully the paste won't be as heavy in this one, but this one's more of a jelly. Um, this is one of the newer ones. I think this came off the 4th of July display this year. And it's more of a jelly, so it's got a thicker base, but it's, we'll see what happens when we start sponging. My in frame, yeah, okay. And again, this time we want to stay on the top of that, um, of the, oops, the vinyl. Now this one is a little bit, since the texture is different, it's definitely, um, sponging quite different. And I think I'm going to see what happens when I just go ahead and just, do this. Oh, that kind of looks better. That way. I think we're just dabbing that on instead of sponging it since it's a different kind of texture. So it's got a different base to it. It kind of works better this way. And we'll see how that goes. And we'll just put dab it a little bit more. Okay, so let's go ahead and peel this back and um, while it's still wet-ish. And we're going to take simply peel off with us. Oh, carefully. And that helps with mess. Looks like we took a little bit off that corner, so I'm going to go ahead and just get that right back in there and what I'm going to do now is go ahead and just use my um, striper from um, this is from kiss and this is this um, just uh, the silver striper and I was kind of hoping that the the simply peel would have stayed on but it came off with the vinyl but that's okay we're just going to go ahead and just stripe across. Boy, I'm still in frame. And, um, that way we'll have our silver. And I could have tried to do it another way, but this actually worked out easier for me. This is an older bottle of the silver, um, striper, um, uh, polish. So, it is a little thicker so usually it would probably go across a little easier but but I think this came out okay so I'm gonna leave it like that and we'll go ahead and let that dry and then we're gonna give it a top coat and just hang on and we'll be back with the next okay, one. Okay we're back and for the next now we're gonna this one's pretty easy and what I went ahead and did with this one is we're going to go ahead and use two glitters from Simple Colors. One of them is a glitter from this year's um, 4th of July and that's called Rock It Out. And one is from the last year's um, 4th of July and that's called Star Blast Off. And both of them are really good glitters and I've been holding them upside down to get the best um, glitter payoff on those, on both of these. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try just brushing these on the red um, pointer finger this time and we'll see how it goes. We might have to go with the sponging technique and um, to get um, the best payoff. And the best way to work with these is a dabbing motion um, just because the glitters are so heavy and the stars and such. So that's the best um, payoff to get best payoff that's what I've been doing is just using the dabbing motion and I thought this worked pretty well on that one um, we'll go ahead and go in with the next glitter and see what happens with 
rock it out. And I wanted to do a combination of both because they were both had such different um, glitters to them. Um, like the last year's glitters were all white stars and they were matte. And this year they had a, a, a variety of um, metallic um, stars in there. So we are going to go ahead and see what we can get. And again, I'm just using the dabbing motion um, to get the best glitter payoff on that on that nail. And I'm just going to just kind of dab the best I can with the different stars. And hopefully it won't build up too much. And that's going to be it on that one. I think that's good. And we'll leave that one alone. We'll let it dry. And then we'll go ahead and give that a top coat. And we'll be right back with a thumbnail. Okay, so we're back with for the thumbnail. We're going to go ahead and use this stamping plate. Um, this is from Bundle Monster um, BMS211. And I believe this is from the Holiday um, Kit, our, our collection. And this is like a New Year's Eve plate, I believe. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use my um, clear stamper. And this is also from Bundle Monster. I guess all of my supplies came from Bundle Monster today. I don't know why. Um, anyways, that's just the way it happened. We're going to use this um, gold. And this is called Liquid Gold. And we're going to use this um, red again. And this is the Crimson Red. And we're going to use this um, silver. And this is called Iced Silver. And the first one... And we went ahead and... Um, Earlier we had our nail done with the blue um, from um, Sinful Colors as the base and this is most simple and we went ahead on top of that and put um, opal glitter from um, Sinful Colors. I think you can probably use maybe Fairy Dust from China Glaze if you have that too. Um, I just kind of wanted to give like a starry effect to it so we'll see how it goes underneath the fireworks and we'll Let's see how it goes. Um, we'll go ahead and just do a red one first. Um, uh, we'll go ahead and let's see which one should we pick. We'll go ahead and pick... Um, I believe I did one of these. Or, um, um, let's do I like that one right here and see how that goes. I'm going to start with the red. That's how it's stamped right there. Um, I didn't like that stamp, so I'm going to go ahead and try that one more time. Um, uh, we'll go into that one more time. I didn't really like the way that's picked up. Yeah, that's much better. I got all of it that time. Um... And again, with this clear stamper, you want to make sure that when you clean up, you use tape and not um, and not acetone because you will you will ruin your um, oh no you will ruin your um, your clear um, little stamper thing. So we're gonna go ahead and put this little guy kind of in. Let's go ahead and pick this area right here. Yeah, we'll just lay him there. Looks looks pretty neat. Um, I need a little cotton ball. Okay, um, we'll go ahead and go on to the next color. Um, let's go ahead and use a gold. Um, I think we're going to use this guy over here. Let's see how he turns out. He's still in frame, yeah. And 
I'm not sure if I like that one, so we're going to go ahead and do that one again because I don't think I like the way that one picked up. So let's try another one. This one doesn't have the same um, kind of consistency as the red did, so it's not as thick. It's a little thinner. So that's why it's a little tougher to pick up. That one picked up very nicely. And we'll go ahead. Oh, yikes! He's still there. Okay, we'll go ahead and lay him right about here. And that looks really cool. Okay, now for the last one, we'll go ahead and do a um, silver and see how that turns out. And for the silver one, we want to put that probably up here in this little area. And maybe... Um, let's see. Maybe we'll go with... I don't know why about this guy right here. Let's try him. And we'll see how that goes. If you haven't tried stamping, I mean, it makes for some really cool um, nail art. I think it's just awesome. Um, yeah, it picked up pretty decently. I'll get a piece of tape. Let's see if we can get pick up some of the stuff around it. Make sure. And we're going to put him probably right around. I'm sorry, got you out of frame. Right around here. And there we go. So we got some fireworks going on there. We'll go ahead and top coat that puppy and we'll be done with that one and clean it up. And I'll be right back. Okay, so here is the final look. Um... We got top coat on all our nails. We got our thumb right here. I'm hoping one frame. Here we go. Here's our thumb right here. The fireworks. We got our um, pointer finger right here that has all of the um, the Fourth of July glitters, and then we have our shiny red, white, and blue, or red, silver, blue. We got our flag flagish looking nail here and our blue and our silver star and our blue so these are my fourth of july nails and um how i put them together and i really hope you liked it i just gotta um treat my cuticles and hopefully that will um put everything together and i'll take some pictures and i'll have you so you can look at better and I'll put some on my Instagram too. Uh, make sure that you go check out the other ladies' channels for sure. I'll link everybody down below and that you um, 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 check them out and have the they'll have tutorials on their looks too. Um, uh, there's are more <laughs> a lot more better than I have but but that's okay I had a great time and I hope you liked it this is my first tutorial so anyways I hope you guys have a very safe and very um, great 4th of July be safe and um, enjoy the fireworks all right guys take care of yourselves bye bye mm -hmm.